Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski exam in UK and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I am back with another NMC Oski video for you. So if you like my videos, please press, press the like button now and don't forget to subscribe. And congratulations to all of you uh, who've been passing their exam without too much difficulty and thank you for all the lovely uh, google reviews you've been leaving on our oski nurse training cambridge google advertisement page so if you want to go and check out what nurses have been saying about our training then please go ahead and look at that it might make your uh, decision easier to choose uh, training with uh, if you want to uh, have training for oski it might make your uh, it might help you to make your decision okay so let's today's video so today's video is all about oxygen administration station which is a clinical skill this is a very popular skill in your exam uh, for clinical skills but uh, lots of nurses still end up failing it's a simple skill but lots of uh, nurses are still failing it so i'm going to do my five uh, most common fails in this station and of course give you the tips alongside how you can avoid those mistakes easy but still need to be done correctly okay so it is your 10 minute station in your exam you are supposed to give if you look at the screen now you are supposed to give uh, high flow oxygen start high flow oxygen for your patient which is 15 liter um, and then start it correctly and then uh, it's on the mannequin so attach the mask to the mannequin correctly attach the mask to the oxygen supply correctly inflate it correctly and then document correctly in your mark chart so that's what you have to do in 10 minutes so let's have a look what have been the most common fails in this station like i said it's it's easy one but lots of nurses are still failing it eh? so uh, and it's a very popular skill so let's have a look the first one uh, a simple one uh, oxygen is a prescribed medication in uk so you need to make sure you identify your patient correctly uh, as per your given paperwork so first one is did not check the patient id details and allergy stated against the correct page of the drug chart so you need to make sure that you're doing id check and uh, allergy check against the page number two of the drug chart which i have put down uh, on the screen for you so that's the correct way so okay so your mannequin will be wearing a name band and allergy band and you need to make sure you are asking your patient all the details and you're looking at the name band and you're checking that against your document same for the allergy status looking at the allergy band asking the patient for allergy status looking at the allergy band uh, the patient is wearing and uh, and then checking that against your document and verbalizing that you're checking it okay so that's really important you may be doing it with your eyes but if you're not verbalizing it then examiner can't pass you okay second one is did not fully check the validity of the prescription so this has been a very common fail why because oxygen is a prescribed i already told you is a prescribed medication so we need to make sure that we have a valid prescription before we can start this oxygen on our patient so as you can see that you read i have put on the screen for you so you read uh, the target saturation so normal uh, always ticked as 94 to 98 percent for high flow oxygen so that would be ticked uh, that would be the saturation range and the validity of the prescription as you can see is telling you uh, how many liters what mass you are going to use so reservoir mask is 15 liter per minute is telling you the start date the end date signature of the prescriber the bleep number and also there is pharmacy check there okay so you need to uh, look at all that okay to make sure that it is a valid prescription so that's number two uh, number three is did not show how to inflate the reservoir bag correctly so you know you're going to use the uh, reservoir bag the bag wall uh, uh, reservoir bag to give high flow oxygen as you can see on your screen uh, so it will have a reservoir to collect the oxygen the bag uh, at the end of the mask so it's uh, so there is always in this mask it's a high concentration oxygen mask so what you do is you see that t-shaped wall so you put your once you have a 
attach the tubing to your flow meter and put it on full 15 liters so then you tell the examiner that you are now assuming that you're inflating the bath so you're going to put a finger on that valve and that, the, that then you will say your bag should start inflating uh, so you need to make sure you say that okay and uh, keep the finger there unless it's fully inflated obviously if the means in in your exam center uh, the oxygen there is no real oxygen supply so obviously but you're still saying that you're, you're putting a finger on and you're filling the bag and can you assume now that it's fully inflated then you take your finger off and then you attach it to your mannequin okay so make sure you do that don't think because it's not uh, at, uh, the flow meter is not attached to the real oxygen supply it's okay i i don't need to show it no you still need to show it how to inflate the bag correctly because that's what your skill is you know uh, inflate the bag and attach it to your patient and put it on full 15 liter flow okay so attach the tubing put it on full 15 liter then inflate the bag using your finger and then um uh, once it's fully inflated attach it to your patient and it's a t-shaped valve i've shown you there next one did not verbalize that after starting oxygen uh, uh, on your patient you will uh, oxygen supply on your patient you will check patient saturation and if they're not within the target range of 94 to 98 percent you will escalate this to the medical team uh, so that that's what you would normally do if you're starting uh, a patient on high flow oxygen you will start a and then you will check your patient uh, saturation you don't need to actually check an exam on the mannequin but you need to verbalize it that you at this stage now after starting the oxygen you will be checking your patient saturations and if they are not within the target range which is prescribed on the drug chart uh, that i will be reporting this to the doctor okay so learn your marking criteria is important okay it's part of the marking criteria and if you don't say it would be a fail and it has been a very common fail in this station number five did not complete the documentation correctly so obviously that would be a uh, uh, a fail obvious critical fail because uh, you, oxygen is a medication and is prescribed and you started it and if you forget to document for a in the end uh, then it would be a fail so how do you document a it's on your screen as you can see you put your signature you put your name you put your date time time is what is on the front of the chart okay uh, so you put at the time and then you go and uh, add the flow rate which is 15 liter per minute uh, and then you also put the uh, device d d is the device which is a reservoir mask you're giving it with so that's rm the code for that is given on the drug chart but you can remember it's easy rm reservoir mask that's what we use for high flow oxygen that's how you complete your documentation if anything is missing in the documentation you didn't put the device or you didn't put the flow rate you forgotten to sign a date time uh, and you print your name it would be a critical fail okay so make sure you do all that within the time period of 10 minutes so those were the five common fails and i've given you my five top tips that you don't make those mistakes it's a popular station it's an easy station but nurses are still failing it so you make sure you don't make these mistakes and fall into that trap okay so hopefully this video will help you with this station i will soon be back with another video for you so if you want to visit us in the meantime you can visit us on oskinastraining.com or email us regarding our training on oskinastraining at outlook.com and i will soon be back with another video for you don't forget to like and subscribe bye for now and see you soon.